today we're fishing here on the River Main near Bamberg, between Bamberg and Würzburg. And we're going to be doing a uh, all night session, well, all night, till about midnight. And the uh, target piece is going to be the European eel. And we're just going to set up along here and then ledger at the bottom. And I'll just get my kit ready and I'll show you what we're, good, what we're doing. Okay, so now we're all set up. As you can see, I've got two rods out. And the um, basic, basic idea of eel fishing is, is that you just ledger just on the bank a little bit. And uh, it's there's still light now. Unfortunately, I don't have any camera gear to be filming at night, so I'm going to show you this during the day. But uh, the eels don't actually bite until sun sunset. Um, and it's uh, the the gear you use to go eel fishing. The best is to keep it simple and primitive. Basically, you want to uh, you don't want to use high tech stuff, or I mean, you can. But uh, I'll show you what I use because I just. I just find it easier to have it sort of mobile and compact when you're when you're walking along the banks, looking for fishing spots along the along the weed. Seem to be getting a bite there. Let's see what happens. This is the um, you see here uh, two rods. They're just telescopic rods, uh, carbon fiber, but nothing nothing expensive. I think they're about less than twenty euros each. And I just like using them, like using the telescopic ones. For this type of fishing, for eel fishing, because you can put them in a compact bag like this, uh, with just a ru your rucksack or your backpack and your um, bucket. And um, the reason this is good is just I like fishing with the uh, two-piece carbon fiber, nice and stiff. But like I said, for eel fishing, it's it's not an it's not an elegant type of fishing. When you have a bite, it's, it's just a very primitive sort of reeling it in and getting into your bucket without much, uh, without, it's not very fancy basically. I'm just going to check a bite, I seem to be getting a bite there. Basically, the, I just got a snag, so what I'm saying is that you, I use uh, very basic rigs, cheap leads, a uh, very simple setup because you're going to lose a lot of tackle. So along this this basin here, you, this is just it's been modified for a lot of boats traveling. So you'll just have a, a river that's shaped, very basic basin, if you like, and along this, the sides it's reinforced with rocks. A couple of meters in, where it then dives off, and then you just have a sandy bed. So in the eels, they'll move along the sand bed and in between the rocks, and that's where you want to fish. So you're going to be losing a lot of leads, a lot of rigs. So you want to just keep it basic. That's also why I do use braid every, every other every other time, but only when I know it's not snaggy. Because you'll lose. You, you want to have that monofilament just to be able to deal with the abrasions. Okay. So now I'm just going to show you the rig we use out in the uh, out in the river. Uh, I only fish with two rods because that's the uh, that's all you're legally allowed to do, two rods per person. And um, I'll explain it. It's a telescopic rod, very cheap. The most expensive thing on it is the is the uh, the reel, which is just a basic Shimano bait runner. I like using those. Sometimes I like putting the bait runner on, and it's a very reliable reliable reel. Um, the rig. The rig. If I can find it in this grass. So you just have a basic, a basic running ledger. Let's see if I can show you this. So you can see this. This is a uh, two swivel links. I just put a bit of silicon pipe there, tubing, just to act as a stop knot against the other, and then line and just a basic worm. It's a, we like using the uh, night crawlers, nice and juicy. And uh, just put a base, you just put a lead on there, cast it out. You're trying to, you're trying to cast it sort of out, and then the, the current 
drags it down and it sort of sits just on the uh, just where the rocks end or just where the rocks meet the bottom of the uh, the basin of the river and we just use very basic lead because we, we did ourselves you're gonna lose a lot of these so it's just cheaper you a paper clip in there and just melt it and get into a mold at the tip we're using the annoying bells as you can hear which do which are annoying but at night are very handy because you can hear the bites and also we I just put a a little uh, glow light on there just so you can see the movement sometimes so you can differentiate which which bell is actually ringing that's simplicity of the bait we use as I already said night crawlers and just on the needle we don't use big pieces we just enough to cover the hook uh, today for the first time I'm trying to see if I can catch some perch my uncle two days ago two nights ago was fishing out here for eel caught a two and a half pound perch and um, but he was using worms just the same rig I was just showing you but I thought maybe tempt something bigger or faster who knows and then uh, this is all I take with me really just a couple of bells knife swivel links lead float, and um, that's it really a bit of silicon tubing this is my bag just a very I just try to keep it simple compact just for fishing for eel on the on the on the river and uh, I have two more that I use um, when the uh, Xander season starts in July and um, or just as a backup rod when everything when, when others break I just keep night lights in here um, wires, knives etc backpack food essentials coffee and this bucket here some of you might know who've already caught some eel they're very slimy and you can't actually uh, can't actually grip them and they're very hard to handle so what uh, what we do is because we don't catch and release in Germany it's actually not allowed unless the fish are not in season or not within size so you actually have to take a fish home you're not allowed to release them and um, so we catch eel mainly because they taste good when you smoke them or even in the pan so we have a bit of a, a thing for eels if you like sounds wrong but uh, when you catch them you just reel them in really fast because you don't want them to if you if you try to do it, drill it slowly and try to make it sporty or anything all that's gonna happen is, is they're gonna dive into the rocks and then you're gonna lose them they're just gonna hold on and then you're not gonna be able to get them out so what you do is you reel them in, try to keep them as high as possible, as fast as possible. You lift them up, you just open up the bucket, which will be full of water. And um, you just try to get them in there, close it. You'll pull the, uh, the line with the hook up as far as possible. So you basically, you're pulling the head up, you're pulling the head up with the line, touching. And then with the knife, you'll just slice it. So the hook stays in the eel the hook actually stays in the eel's mouth and uh, but you've cut the line as short as possible so it doesn't knot itself around the line or strangle itself and that way you just keep catching eels you put them in there pile them in after the other just change the water every now and again and we don't actually um, gut them kill them and gut them and put them in the freezer until we uh, well in the freezer obviously but we don't actually uh, take them out until we get home. Another thing I wanted to show you is the um, this is the uh, the simple because we cut the hook off. I explained I cut you cut the hook off every time you catch an eel. So uh, you have to change the hook every time. So I've put together this, 
you have the line there, you've got your hook, you have three nails on both sides. So every time you cut the hook with the eel on it, you just take the old line off, off the, the snap sw swivel, take a hook off, pull off the nail here. I've sorted it from right to left, so I know which one is coming off the top. And you can put different sizes. These are all mainly size 6, size 4, um, which is perfect for eel fishing. And um, always one bigger one, size 1.0. Um, just to use a bit of, bit of um, a little bit of fish for sander. And that's the simplicity of it. And uh, that's all you do late into the night. And you just have to watch, keep watching the rod tips. Uh, until they uh, they ring, twitch, and uh, eel can be aggressive biters, but usually they're quite careful actually. So what you want to do is when you have a little twitch, you don't want to even when it, even when the rod tip's bending already. So what you want to do is. You want to just wait. Usually, I pick up the the rod, feel the line. And when you have a proper proper pull on it, you know it's on. Set the hook, and then, like I said, reel in fast. Nothing elegant. Just reel in as quick as you can without losing the fish. Obviously, that's always key. And um, just lift it into the bucket and uh, cut the line. Next hook, get it out, and uh, that's that's basically what you do all night. That's fishing. So this is the uh, first eel of the night. It's actually the second one. Well, I lost the I lost the first eel. It wasn't just two meters by the bank. It wasn't the hook wasn't set properly. But yeah. See, not a big one. I mean, what is it? It's about 50 centimeters. Uh, just within the limits, and uh, you can see. Well, you can't see, but it's got the hook set, and uh, but it can safely just reside inside the bucket until I take it home.